All right, ongoing day seven action here on Saturday. We've got up to another man who entered the day at five and one. That's Takayasu. He's taking on Maigashira eight, Nishiki Fuji. Nishiki Fuji will be on your right. He is currently three and three. Takayasu currently at the rank of Maigashira seven, and he is five and one. And what I'll probably do is just let this one roll right into the next match, which is Hokuseho taking on Tamawashi. Tamawashi also 5-1 uh, and one going into today's action. So we'll just do a double feature here, double header. And uh, I was mentioning Tamawashi yesterday. How many consecutive wins does he have? And it, I looked it up. He is number three currently on the list, but getting closer and closer to number two, and he should be able to pass the man at number two and become the number two uh, on the list uh, in after the September tournament. So uh, it won't happen this tournament. It'll happen next tournament, and I'm sure they'll mention it uh, on air, etc. And then I can't remember if it's... I, I think it's going to be a ways uh, before he can catch number one, but uh, that's quite an achievement in his career, and uh, it's fun to look at that page of record holders on uh, Wikipedia if you go through there. Alright, let's turn on some commentary. No! All right, well, what can you say? It looks like the Slippy Otoshi of Nagoya has claimed another victim here with... Uh, uh, although it was a good move, it was a good move by uh, Nishiki Fuji to get out of the way and let Takayasu's momentum take him forward. He probably could could tell, you know, uh, that he was leaning too much on him and, uh, and let him uh, just take himself out. So, five and two now for Takayasu. I guess we got to stop chanting Takayasu you show. It's going to be somebody else. Not that you're completely out of it with only two losses, but uh, yeah, the momentum has kind of shifted on that. I think everybody's now on the Nishikigi train anyway, <laughs> hoping that he can win his first championship here in July. So uh, Tamawashi, the Maigashira 7, is, I always feel he's taller than he is. He's 189 centimeters, which is tall. But, for instance, we just had Shonano Umi's match, and he's even taller, uh, let me double check, at 193 centimeters. So, Tamawashi always feels like one of the taller guys, uh, but, you know, truly tall is Hokuseho. That 204 centimeters, uh, yeah, that's, you know, so that's 89, 99, that's... 15 centimeters taller than uh, Tamawashi, which just seems incredible. And uh, when he fought Ura yesterday, uh, how tall is Ura? Let's find him if I... He's 175 centimeters, so he's 29 centimeters taller than Ura, which is quite a lot of inches. You can ask your Siri. I won't... I won't I won't activate it by asking mine, but it, it's quite a lot of inches uh, taller. So, yeah, uh, but it should be a good matchup. Tamawashi versus Hokuseho coming up next. Um, I don't believe this is halftime. Are we at halftime? Let me see. Have we done 10 matches? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, no, 9. Oh, maybe that is. Maybe we're at halftime. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video after all. Sorry, guys. And we'll pick up with Hokuseho Tamawashi coming up next.